Welcome to another episode of Who Do We Blame? Boy. Y'all scared the fuck? Nah. Four years old. Nah, bro. Get your old ass over that gate. With them Ellis Villas on. What? Yeah, man. You tell me I don't want to test the gate. What you eyeing that bitch? Hey, come on now. You done been over this. He measuring that bitch with his eyes. I got to measure it. Well, he think he's a genius. Y'all niggas woke up higher than the bitch today. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, pop. Y'all boy, I like him. Why you, you like him? Hell no, I like this. Oh! Hey! All right, just to be clear, no senior citizens were harmed during the film of this video. Anyway, let's get to it. Who do we blame? Is it A, Unk for actually thinking he can jump over this fence? This man has not jumped in since 1986, and that was to conclusions. Or is it B, the cameraman and everybody behind him? Listen, they wrong. That was almost a suicide attempt on accident. Or is it C, the fence that betrayed him like hotel lotion to the black community? Or is it D, everybody and everything involved, including, including that lousy running start that Unk took to try to take off to get over the fence or whoever sold him that alcohol i don't know what he was drinking but they sold him the good stuff or is it them crunchy jeans he got on that held him back like a third grader who has not passed his reading test unk was dressed like a troubled teen or the person that sold unk them shoes listen them shoes ain't had no hops in them no flexibility no oomph no get up in them at all or is it e did i miss one <laughs> 